Hey all, so we almost done with all the setting which is required for creation of GL account in SAP. But we just remaining with the one topping and that is tolerance. So we will see what is tolerance group in SAP and then we will see what like what are the settings which is required for tolerance. Okay, so first we will start with what is tolerance group. So tolerance is to keep a check in limit of transaction amount. See, we have a tolerance group for employees, tolerance for GL, tolerance from customer, tolerance for vendor. So basically what is exactly a tolerance? So the tolerance is to keep a check in limit of transaction amount. Like suppose if I am maintaining a tolerance group of employee and I have, suppose if I am a manager and I have a two clerk, one of that clerk is recently joined my organization. So what I do, I'll put him in, in a group where uh, he can post a transaction up to a $2,000. What does that mean? That particular, suppose I say ABC is my employee which has joined my organization recently. That is N triple one is my company. So he joined my company recently and I don't want him to allow a post transaction which is more than $2,000. So what I'll do, I'll put him in a group which is a new group and I'll say that this particular employee will not able to post a transaction more than $2,000. Okay, similarly, suppose if I have a senior accountant, I'll say that my senior account can post a transaction up to $10,000. Okay, so basically, what is tolerance group? So, it defines a limit. By what limit an employee can post a transaction? Okay, so we can say like a group of employee in SAP. So, determine the maximum document amount that em that employees authorized authorized to post and more amount can be posted and enter as a line item so basically if i say like if i am a manager i'll say that i can post whatever amount i want to post so i'll be like a super user in sap okay the other the people who work uh, under me uh, who are the fresher in my company i'll say that suppose if they want to post something for 5000 and by mistake, he posted a transaction for $50,000. So that will be wrong and that will be very dangerous for my company. Okay, so what I will do, I'll put him in a group uh, where he can post a transaction up to 5000 only. Okay, so before, like if we do not like mention a tolerance, then we will not able to post any document in SAP. So tolerance group is important setting and we have to mention a tolerance group but now this is my like practice system so we are not able to assign any group to, to my tolerance but I'll show you how to create like how to define a tolerance okay so I'll go to the SPRO now SAP reference IMG so This is my IMG screen I'm going to financial accounting General ledger accounting Business transaction. Open item clearing. Clearing differences. Define tolerance group for employees. See. Here we can see the description as well, like C 
see the descript as the description say the maximum amount for which an employee is permitted to post a document the maximum line item amount for employees permitted to enter in the customer vendor general nature the percentage of em amount an employee can enter in line item and the maximum acceptable payment difference okay so this is payment difference this is not any kind of discount because a lot of people think that you can give her that much of discount no this is just a payment difference like suppose if i give an example suppose one customer come to me and uh, he said that i am going to pay 500 dollar uh, so i check that customer invoice and it was showing some interest and that customer needs to pay 520 dollars okay so what i'll ask to that customer that your payment should be 520 dollars okay not 500 so the customer will say right now i have 500 only so at that moment what i'll do i'll accept that 500 dollar and that 20 dollars of remaining amount will be carried forward in the next payment okay so okay so we will click on the cycle My system is really slow. See the screen will get display. So we will keep a tolerance group as a blank because this is practice system. So I'll go to the new entries. Okay, so my company code is N triple one. Now amount per document now this is my practice system suppose if i enter 10 then i am not able to post any document which will have amount more than 10 okay so suppose if i want to post a document for 50 then i need to post five document each document with 10 value or 10 amount okay so what i'll do i'll keep here as 99999 okay so that i can enter a like maximum amount amount per open item okay open item is a new concept i'll we will see that in future so the open item is basically a payable i can say so i'll say here as well 9999 okay and cash discount if you want to give any cash discount per line item but i'm not allowed here anything so see here permitted payment difference so if i say like if i'm receiving a hundred rupees the maximum Payment difference can be 10. Like as a, I given an example of a particular customer who whose payable is 520. Okay, but at that moment he has only $500. So the remaining $20 will be the payment difference which will be carry forward for the next payment. Okay. And the percentage I can say like 10. Okay. So here my company name appear. This amount is like 999. Such a big amount actually. So I'm going to save this. I'm not assigning any group here. This is one of the mandatory settings. You have to do this setting without that you will not be able to post any document in your company so here see it's my company code is available now for tolerance okay now the similar is for GL accounts okay see we'll see the description first Define tolerance group for GL account. For GL account clearing, tolerance group define the limit within which differences are accepted and automatically posted to predefined account. Okay, as I say, the customer is paying only 500. So the remaining $20 will be go in a particular GL account. Okay, so that particular difference will be the posted here. Posted in that particular GL account. So I'll define a
So I'll define a tolerance group for GL accounts. Okay, so here I'll say new entries. I'll keep everything blank. I'll just give my company name. I didn't give any tolerance, debit posting, credit posting. I'll just save it. Okay, so here we are done with the tolerance setting. So see okay so i'll say that suppose okay so we will see the structure here okay suppose like as i said uh the very my very first video which is saying that i have a reliance company group and there is one office is in india and another one is office in usa okay so we will see that chart here actually now how is the exactly structure of my company so here it's reliance sorry okay i know it's looking so bad but Okay, so my Reliance have two company code. One is one triple one, and I'll say like this when we end triple three. Okay. So under this end triple one, which is in India, I have defined a business area. Okay, fiscal year variant. Posting periods, fail status, and chart of account. Okay, now under my chart of account, what will I have? I have retain earning account. Okay, account group. Number ranges and do for document type and the tolerance. Okay, so basically this is the structure which we have completed. Now, this is basically my company structure till date. Okay, now what I'll do under the chart of account under the account group which are my account group income expenses liability assets okay so i'm going to create a gl account with this four account types okay we will see the gl account in the next session thank you so much for watching this video please do like share and subscribe bye bye